Hey guys, it's Jeff Durbin. So here it is, Apologia Studios. It's here now. And uh, we're excited to have you participate with us in this ministry of the gospel. Uh, every week now, on top of the regular podcast that goes out as usual at ApologiaRadio.com and iTunes, we're going to have now Apologia TV and the Apologia After Show, an additional hour of content after that, and Apologia's On the Pastor's Couch, dealing with pastoral theology as we engage these cultural issues. And on top of that, we're doing Apologia Academy, which is very important theological training, seminary-type training, with some very respected uh, uh, theologians and Christian pastors and scholars. You can be a part of all of this with us as a ministry. It's uh, only $7.95 a month, uh, that's the donation, and it helps us to get all of this done on a regular basis, and it gives you access to all of this content. Right now, you can go to apologiaradio.com and you can get started. Thank you so much for your love, thank you for your prayers, thank you for your support, and thank you for actually participating with us in this ministry by subscribing to the All Access at ApologiaRadio.com. I want to introduce to you guys for the very first time on Apologia Radio, Mr. Colin Gunn. Hey guys, thank you for having me on the show. I've been looking forward to talking to you today. Oh, uh, it's it's see this is like 10 times as good as any interview we'd ever yeah. done because just because of the Scottish accent. I'm look, I've been looking forward to listening to you. He said, "Thank you for inviting me to the show." Uh, this, you'll you'll soon get tired of my accent. No. no <laughs> never no. happen. Never happen. Well, we're excited to have you on the show, Colin. Can you let all of our listeners know and actually viewers know um, what you do? You're a documentary filmmaker. Tell us about yourself and and your your uh, productions. Absolutely. Well, I have a fairly unusual job. I'm a full-time documentary filmmaker. I've been making films for about 11 years now. We've made six films that we think are important for the Christian community. We started back 11 years ago with our first uh, documentary film called Shaky Town about San Francisco homosexual politics. I was living out in the Bay Area at the time and uh, working in the computer games industry, but I was looking for something uh, that I could do for the kingdom of God that was more purposeful <laughs> maybe than video games. Even though I still like video games, I was looking for something that was very constructive, but also very creative. And I found documentary films and I haven't left the documentary films and never planned to. I think it is one of the best opportunities for someone with limited skills like me, which are just, you know, to the combination of my favorite things, being creative and being artistic and then arguing with people, combining those together in documentary film. And that's what I love about it. So we made Shaky Town and then we made a bunch of films in between. But the last two, as you've mentioned, Jeff, are Indoctrination. These are our two most important films in a sense, Indoctrination and our new film, Wait Till It's Free. And we, I think we uh, do our very best to communicate a Christian worldview, which covers aspects of liberty, and what we want to say to American culture. I'm not an American. I have the benefit of being an outsider looking in. So I think I have an advantage to an extent of saying, this is what I see coming into your culture. I'm an outsider, but I'm able to look around and see what does the big yellow bus mean? That's the film indoctrination. In our case with healthcare, how can we contrast socialized medicine that we have in the UK with what we're having here under Obamacare? So maybe an unusual type of career, but I think it's, I hope at least that it's profitable for the kingdom of God. Absolutely. And very, and very, very important. And, and I think what's unique about this is just the perspective that you have, uh, Colin, when you talk about coming from Scotland and coming over here and looking at as an outsider, you have in Scotland socialized medicine and uh, medical care. And so this new film you have Wait till it's free. I got a chance to review it. It is absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful. It is, you do such a wonderful, wonderful job, and I mean that. There are people who make documentary films that aren't um, skilled, I think, in the way that you are. You have a gift for this, and I want to go ahead and let our listeners uh, listen or watch this clip. This is from Wait Till It's Free by Colin Gunn. Insurance companies are perversely inclined to seek out the most gigantic hospital bills that they can find. That sounds crazy when I say that. A hospital issues a bill for $100,000 and the insurance company through their PPO reprices it to 20,000. And then they write in to the employer group and say, we've, you know, we've saved you $80,000 and now you can pay us a percentage of that $80,000 savings. The hospitals are happy 
to accept $20,000 for, for a $100,000 bill because that $80,000 fictional loss helps them maintain that fiction of their not-for-profit status, and it goes into their uncompensated care pool that they then stick to the taxpayers and get a rebate on that really nobody talks about. I call it the uncompensated care scam because to the extent the hospitals claim they lost money, they actually made money. When hospitals wave their charity flag and say, well, but we take care of the indigent, they don't really. While they're waving the, the charity flag with one hand, they're fleecing the taxpayer with the other hand. So Colin, just quickly before we come into our next commercial break, quickly give us a snapshot of the issue that you deal with of corruption in the healthcare system that sort of serves as the springboard of the entire discussion about what we can do to regain our freedom in this area of healthcare. People need to understand the American healthcare system is essentially a crony capitalist system. Now, I hate socialism, but what's worse than socialism? Well, one thing worse than socialism is crony capitalism, where big, big entities, big financial entities use the power of, a, of the state, the government, to deliver money into their own coffers. And this is what's happening with Obamacare. The insurance industry and the medical establishment used Obamacare. Of course, Obamacare forces people to buy the products that they didn't want to buy in the free market, but now we're forced to buy these insurance policies. And for most people, they're not to their benefit. And this is what we're talking about in the movie, Wait Till It's Free. Free healthcare is a big problem. The problem is we, we fall back on the third party pay system as well as the government model. And so our, our American system, there's reasons why it's expensive. And you had Keith Smith there, who's a libertarian doctor, explaining why it is so expensive. The way we've decided to do it is what makes it expensive. We're going to be right back, guys, after this break with Colin Gunn, documentary filmmaker with Wait Till It's Free, ApologiaRadio.com.